my journey to a Toastmaster. Life is full of surprises. I would never have thought I would be standing right over here today giving my first icebreaker speech 30 years later after I vow never to embarrass myself again. <laughs> I have always admired people who can speak with such eloquence, who communicate their thoughts and ideas so coherently, seemingly with little effort. They capture the audience's interest beautifully. Even though I want to have just 10% of their skills, I was too shy to do anything about it. Mm -hmm. I just admired them from a distance. <laughs> In my grade 12 years, however, I finally did muster enough strength and took a public speaking course. It was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> During the class, the teacher would select randomly several people to speak on the spot. I dread going to class every time. I was scared to death. It's like doing table topics right here. Spot <laughs> facing 20 of my students, well, my fellow students. I was terrified. My heart pounding fast. My stomach in knots. I felt weak. I felt dizzy. I was in total panic mode. Boy, was I glad when it was over. <laughs> I celebrated with my friends and promised myself never to take another communication course again. <laughs> <laughs> after knowing that I have this weakness, after I graduated from University of BC in finance, commerce, I steer myself away from any positions that require communication skills except for the basic. I have come to accept that a good communicator is a genetic gift. Either you have it or you don't. I am just not a good communicator. As I mentioned earlier, life is full of crisis. The unexpected came last year. It was a year full of emo emotional turmoil for me. My daughter, the pleasant, agreeable daughter, <laughs> finally <laughs> grew up. She's the twin that gives me the headache. <laughs> I have never, ever had so much frustration anger, upset, and even resentment toward my daughter. She continuously challenges my parenting and communication skills. Looking back, I'm actually very grateful for her. She was the engine that compelled me to want to improve myself to be a better parent, a better communicator, and a better listener. It was because of her that I found Toastmasters. And it is through Toastmasters that I discover a great speaker is not a genetic gift, that we all can be good speakers if we practice and persevere. So I'm very excited about this unanticipated journey of mine, and I 
am very grateful for all of you, for your warm welcome, for offering me this safe, non-judgmental environment, and for supporting me on my unexpected but very much welcome journey so that I too can become a good communicator one day. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be wonderful that I can rekindle the closeness and the warmth that I had with my daughter in the past and take it to a new level? That is my aim. Thank you.